Hello Pisces, welcome to your self-love journey reading for the month of April. I am Christine, your mind and body empowerment coach. I hope that this reading finds you all well. So Pisces, for April you have endless possibilities. I love this for you all, okay? So right off the bat, I noticed that number 38, which reduces to an 11, it's a very powerful spiritual number of manifestation and new beginnings, right? Ones are new beginnings. So there is some kind of new beginning that is calling to you, that you are probably calling into your reality um, based off of the desires and wishes of your heart and most likely all of the hard work that you've already been putting into something. So I do feel um, like this probably connects to your workplace or you know if you're an entrepreneur or it's your career or you have a creative project in mind, something that you're trying to get up and off the ground, something that you're wishing and desiring to grow. Um, I do feel like it's something you've probably already planted seeds on. However, that might not apply to everybody. So take it how it fits. This either is something that you've already sort of begun, but hasn't actually fully bloomed yet, or this is still just a desire, a wish in your heart. But right now, be very, very mindful of your thoughts because thoughts become things, right? So with that 11, you are a manifesting, um, magician right now, I want to say. So be very, very mindful of your thoughts. And, and, you know, if you start to kind of veer down that path of like self doubt, or why is this taking so long? Like, is this ever going to work out for me? Try not to get stuck there. And if you notice yourself kind of drifting off into that place, steer yourself back on the path, back on the spiritual path of trust and faith in the plan and how things are unfolding, because I do see things moving for you. So movement is happening, no doubt, in the month of April, so long as you keep your thoughts in check, okay? So definitely, you know, doing things that feel good for your soul, that help you relax, that help you get more into the flow, into your creative power, that's definitely going to help you have more faith and trust and keep your thoughts in the right direction and not kind of veering off into the land of self-doubt and all that stuff. We don't want to go there, right? Because you definitely are calling something into your reality that is going to be very, very long-lasting, sustainable, secure, and solid. And I love that you have this Endless Possibilities card because it's saying to you to really widen and expand your perspective and your perception around what is possible for you, what could be. Because I'm willing to say, Pisces, that it's not to say that you uh, haven't been dreaming big because you're a Pisces and that, that makes sense for you. You definitely dream big. You know what that means. But there, you might have been placing a limit on yourself just a little bit, which could be what has maybe slowed some things down for you or maybe what has even stopped you from really taking massive action because you're kind of getting in your own way a little bit there. But this card is saying, be open to all of this beautiful magic that is trying to be, look at this, like just dropped into your being, right? Like so much magic, so much joy and excitement and possibility that you can't even imagine. So tap into your childlike imagination, okay? And wonderment, see through the eyes of a child right now and just, you know, literally dream into being your most wildest, outlandish, you know, crazy possible desires. Because I'm telling you, you are a manifesting magician, magnet, miracle maker, or whatever you want to say right now. And I feel like truly like anything is possible for you. So don't limit yourself, Pisces, okay? Now, I clarified with, you actually have three cards. Not everybody got three cards. Um... <laughs> You have the Knight of Pentacles, the page, well, actually the Page of Pentacles came out first. So we'll say the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. So wow, this is why I definitely feel like this is around work. Okay, but if not, again, apply it how it fits. All right, but it seems like with this Page of Pentacles, this is you learning and, you know, understanding, you know, where you're at, what you need to do to move forward, you know, maybe getting the support you need, getting the resources, you know, calling in help you know, doing your research. This is definitely a card of new beginnings, starting from ground zero, starting from scratch. However, building something on a super, super duper solid foundation. So that's why I said for some of you, I do feel like you're in this page of pentacles energy uh, where you have already planted your seeds, but it hasn't really totally come to fruition in your physical reality yet. But it's, it's starting to just very, very, very slowly or you could be just about to step into this energy. So it's, it's gonna be different for everybody since this is a general reading, but I feel like with this Page of Pentacles though too, Spirit is saying don't stay in this like page mentality. It's really obviously important to 
build a solid foundation that's going to be long lasting, that's going to be solid and secure and, and you know, really represent you uh, in terms of your worth and value. Okay. So, but that's another message is don't, you know, make sure you know your worth and value because, you know, if you stay at the page level, then that's what you're going to attract. You you might get some results, but they're going to be small. They're going to be minimal. All right. They're not going to reflect your true worth and value. So make sure you're clear on that, right? Make sure you know your worth, know your worth Pisces. Okay. Um, because I see you expanding into this Knight of Pentacles energy. So there is movement happening, especially with this Eight of Wands. There's some kind of movement happening, I feel like in the month of April, okay, and probably into Taurus season, since this is two cards, we have two uh, Earth energy cards here. So I want to say the end of April into May, okay, into June, something is shifting and changing. Movement is happening. Um, you're going from the page to the night. And as you can see here, this path seems long. It's definitely a long path. But look at the top here. You have this beautiful Ace of Pentacles at the top of the mountain. So worth the effort, so worth the energy and the time and the waiting because wow, look at this beautiful pentacle at the top that's shining, super abundant, right? And this could uh, represent an abundance in anything and everything. Whatever you are truly desiring and wishing to call in, like I said, it doesn't have to be related to job. This could even be relationship wise. Uh, it's here for you and you're getting closer, you're getting warmer. Um, there's some kind of movement that is happening here with this eight of wands, I do, like I said, I feel like toward the end of the month, into May, into maybe even into the beginning of June, um, there's some kind of movement that is taking place, okay, before Gemini season, let's just put it that way, uh, where you're going to start to see something coming into fruition. Some kind of uh, magic is going to transpire for you, I feel, and it's going to give you that little boost you need, that little boost of hope, that little boost of faith that's going to be restored, and you're going to be like, okay. I got this. I can do this. I'm going to keep putting in time and effort. I'm going to keep believing. I'm going to keep trusting. I'm going to keep learning. I'm going to, you know, go into my days with a beginner's mind always because there's always room to learn and to grow and to expand. You know, I'm going to be open to, to new people maybe coming in and helping me if that fits for you. And I'm sure this is, this is a pretty long path. So undoubtedly there's going to be people, you know, aside from the non-physical realm, but the phys in the physical realm who are probably going to come in and, and help you you know, down this path. Absolutely. Um, and that can also be what this um, eight of wands represents. And I do have to show you this Pisces because I keep looking at it. At the bottom of the deck, you have the two of cups. So yes, this could absolutely represent a relationship for you that is coming in potentially before Gemini season. Um, but I don't want to get anybody's hopes up. So if that applies, cool. If you're looking for love and that's a thing for you, then great. I do see something coming in for you. And with this eight of wands, it's pretty quickly. All right. It's pretty quickly. And also with this Eight of Wands, you could be getting signs about this, like some kind of spiritual downloads or just signs in your physical reality that are kind of directing you and leading you toward a specific a specific path to walk down, okay? And also remember, be open to this, okay? This might be like not what you expected. This might be a little, you know, oh my gosh, out of my comfort zone. This might be like, you know, just somebody who you would say is quote unquote, not your type. I don't know if this is a person. Um, but with that endless possibilities card, it's saying be open to whatever wants to be because we're promising that it's going to be very soul aligned, right? With this eight of wands here. Um, now this could even represent like a business partnership. This could represent a new friendship, or this could even just represent an opportunity that comes your way, a, a connection of some sort that feels very, um, like meant to be, okay? Very, very meant to be. So I wanna say it's very, you know, uh, what's the word? Oh my gosh, serendipitous, serendipitous. So whether it's a person or it's a situation or it's an opportunity, there's something that's coming in, some kind of a connection of some sort that is coming in in the near future that's gonna make you really happy, that's gonna make your heart smile, okay? <laughs> Um, and it might be somebody who is just giving, lending you a helping hand on your journey, okay? It doesn't mean that you have to be working with this person per se, like as a business partner, but it could just be somebody who's going to just help you get further down your path, like a coach or a teacher or a mentor, something like that, okay? So just be open, again, with endless possibilities to whatever this is for you, Pisces, but ultimately, you are growing, you are expanding. Keep your thoughts, okay? Keep your thoughts I want to say positive. I don't want to say fake positive, but just, you know, be aware of any kinds of 
feelings of self-doubt or unworthiness because that's all about the pentacles, right? It's, it's self-worth first and foremost. When we believe in ourselves, when we are confident in ourselves and in what we have to offer, that's when we move. That's when things start to shift and change and opportunities come rolling on through that maybe we didn't expect, maybe we didn't even think we wanted, but boom, the universe is like, here, I got this for you. It's going to be awesome. So grab hold, Pisces, because look what's at the top of that mountain and you're going to have help. You're going to have assistance and guidance to get you there. So have no fear. Okay. Whatever that represents for you, what your higher self wants you to know is my wishes matter. Yes. Pisces. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, you know, listen, with this eight of wands, this could definitely represent your wishes, the wishes of your heart, the true desires of your heart. They absolutely matter. They're sitting here waiting to just explode out into the universe. Right. Okay. So allow them to believe that you have beautiful gifts and talents and love and light to share with this world that nobody else can. We are all unique individuals. Okay. And we all need each other's light. So don't keep yourself small. Don't hold yourself back. Like just be open to whatever wants to be. Put yourself out of your comfort zone. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Okay. Operate from a place of soul, from a place of truth. Okay. From a place of authenticity and you cannot go wrong. And if you feel it on your heart and you feel it in your soul, it is meant for you, my friends. Also, and finally, I am a good friend to myself and others. I love that. Yes. And so this could very well represent a friend for you that's coming in, that's going to help you on your journey. Or maybe it doesn't have to do like, say this is like a business thing for you. It might not be that this friend is going to help you with your business, but it's just going to be a really supportive, compassionate, unconditionally accepting and loving human soul tribe member that comes in and just you're just gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Thank you for walking alongside me on this journey. I truly appreciate this. Um, but also with this card, okay, I do feel like this is just you, again, embracing your most authentic self unapologetically, wholeheartedly, being your own best friend, having your back like nobody else, okay? And stepping forth into your dreams, into your goals, wishes, and desires with no cares in the world. Okay. That's kind of what I want to say. Like, just go for it, my friends, because you are manifesting magicians. You can truly create anything that you want and it's here for you and it's going to be long lasting. It's going to be prosperous. It's going to be abundant. It's going to bring you joy and peace and all of that good stuff. I'm super excited for you, Pisces. I hope you're excited too. Sending you all so much love, my friends, and I will see you all in May for your self-love journey reading. Take care. Bye.